Good morning, and we know the U.S. Forest Service is having a briefing this hour right now for the latest on the fire. At last check, it grew to about 5,000 acres. Let's give you a live look at the haze over there. Uh, hovering right over Mount Charleston, that is the source of the smoky air you're waking up to this morning around the valley. And with no containment overnight and strong winds, which we actually feel right now, the fire area is expected to be much larger today. And crews are trying to get airplanes up as soon as it's safe enough so as soon as it's safe enough so they can uh, survey the fire and again it grew up to around 5,000 acres it started just before three o'clock in the afternoon yesterday with massive plumes of smoke around the valley the fire grew quickly as wind gusts topped around 50 miles an hour yesterday the wind combined with the rugged terrain made the flames even more difficult for firefighters to fight we're getting gusts up to 50 miles an hour, so the fire could potentially move 50 miles an hour, which is very unsafe for our firefighters. So uh, we're taking a lot of precautions right now about how close we're getting. The wind kept aircraft grounded yesterday. They hope to get airplanes back up to uh, so they can try to drop fire retardant this morning and helicopters to take firefighters a little closer to the front lines. James Walker says he was hiking when he was nearly overcome by the fire. He suffered smoke inhalation as the flames roared nearby. I actually panicked and I said to myself, I don't want to die like this. I don't want to burn up because it was intense. It was huge. Within 10 minutes, it was a gigantic fire. Walker also said the wind was blowing so hard it was picking up small pebbles and shuffling them around on the ground and back out here live. Campsites were evacuated, including the people inside this RV here. They're just waiting here along Kyle Canyon Road, waiting to find out what's next. Our live team coverage continues with Bianca Holman. She's live with an update, the latest on evacuations for people in the area. Bianca. Hey, Hector. Well, there were folks at the Spring Mountain Youth Camp that they were evacuated, and there was also voluntarily evacuation for those living in the Lee Canyon area. And of course, they could come here to Bill Bray Elementary School, where there are volunteers from the Red Cross here to help them providing food, shelter, and water. And while it's voluntary right now, that could change at any moment. Other precautions were taken to protect everyone. Envy Energy shut off power to Mount Charleston customers, and those outages will extend later on today. The Red Cross has set up shop here at Bilbray Elementary School to help those in need. And of course, there's all the essentials here for them, food, water, and shelter. We're here for the people. I mean, that's what our jobs are at the American Red Cross. This is fire season, and we tell people to be Red Cross ready, which is to be disaster ready, which means put together an emergency kit so that there is, in case you have to leave and evacuate, you have prescription items, electronic copies of your records that you need, uh, like driver's license and social security cards and things like that change of clothes, and then you have a plan. Reminders, we all need just in case you're forced out of your home during this time. And of course, the Red Cross will continue to be here throughout uh, this morning and later on today. And we'll keep everyone updated on if there are any changes here at the evacuation center. Reporting live from Sky Canyon, Bianca Holman, 8 News Now.